Hey everyone, Sarumaru here, and I just want to say Happy New Year. Um, I haven't been able to post an update uh, in, in a little bit, and uh, I do apologize for leaving everybody in the dark. There is a very good reason for it, though. Um, so, we did run into a little trouble with uh, Henshin Engine in regards to a legality issue. Um, as it is, it looks like we will most certainly not be able to use the name Henshin Engine to uh, create this game. Uh, we can no longer call it Henshin Engine. We submitted an application to the USPTO office to uh, get our trademark for Henshin Engine and it was rejected. And the reason it was rejected is because apparently there exists a Henshin Inc. out there that is currently using the name Henshin as a trademark. And they've got it trademarked in uh, several different classes, including the class that we're also, uh, that we also submitted for. So that uh, in itself has created a, a big problem for us. It's uh, kind of put a halt in, in, in production because you're probably wondering where's the game. Um, we were trying to have the game out by this month, but because of what happened with the legality issues in the name, it's, it's no longer going to happen. Um, it was going to, I was hoping to have it ready by Christmas, but it's, it's not looking likely. And uh, the rejection of our application made it tough. We did consult uh, with our legal consultant on the matter, and uh, basically, our options were to either fight it to try to be able to use the name Henshin Engine. Um, the big problem here being that the word Henshin comes ahead of anything else, and that's where the where the problem lies. The problem with fighting it is that we don't have the legal the money to fight it legally. So our only other option was to rebrand the whole thing and um it it does suck because we we did have to spend money on legal fees and we uh had to spend money on the application process and um that all pretty much went down the toilet because we're actually going to um we're not going to fight it because we can't we can't afford to fight it and that's just the the simple matter is that we just don't have the money to fight it so um, at this point uh, Henshin Engine as we know it is no longer uh, we can no longer call it Henshin Engine and uh, it's, it's pretty unfortunate however we are going to take the route to rebrand it all and we decided that that would be the best course of action and we can keep things going. Uh, fortunately, because of uh, email I received from the person who owns Henshin Inc. kind of gave me a heads up on what's happening and I did take preparations prior just in case the worst case scenario came along and our application was rejected, we did have a backup plan. And so that backup plan uh, has been put into place and we have submitted the new application for the trademark of this game. And we are going to be calling it FX Unit Yuki with the subtitle The Henshin Engine. Now, those of you who have read the webcomic are not familiar with the name FX Unit Yuki. The um, Yuki's uh, theme music is actually uh, titled Go Forth FX Unit Yuki. Uh, that's actually one of Nobuyuki's lines in the comic. When Yuki first transforms into the FX Unit, his line is, go forth, FX Unit Yuki, and that's the reason why we named it that track. But, because of that, we're also going to be naming the game FX Unit Yuki, as I thought it was a really appropriate title. And I actually like the new title, so I'm not bummed that we have to call it FX Unit Yuki, the Henshin Engine, because it works out for the naming conventions for future projects to come along, as the second title will also be called FX Unit Yuki, and the subtitle will be different, I'm not going to tell you what that is, but that is already in the works and we are planning uh, to create a sequel for Henshin Engine. 
uh, as well as a spinoff, uh, which will be cool. And much later down the line, we're not we're not looking at 2018 for any new Henshin Engine stuff, other than the ports of Henshin of Henshin Engine now FX Unit Yuki. So the new versions of or the other versions of FX Unit Yuki being the Dreamcast and the Mega Drive and the PC version, those will all be delayed, unfortunately. We will have to push them because we have to give the people who are making those games enough time to port them. Uh, so those, uh, the Dreamcast and Mega Drive versions are being contracted out. Uh, they will need at least, uh, by what I've been told, uh, two to three months to complete these ports. Which doesn't seem like a long time. I think it's a fairly reasonable amount of time to get these ports done. Um, and hopefully in that time they can get them done and get them manufactured. Uh, we're not actually taking care of any of that. We are merely licensing that out. And um, in collaboration with the group that is making those versions uh, to take care of our backers because um, our backers need to be... Uh, the orders for the backers need to be fulfilled so they will come from this source, but anything past the backers, uh, meaning anybody who wants to buy new versions of the game, uh, the Dreamcast and the Mega Drive versions of the game, will have to go through the new production company to get those games, because we will not be producing them. We are only producing the PC Engine version of the game, and the PC version of the game. Now the PC version will also be delayed because the PC version is being built upon the PC Engine version. So without a completed PC Engine version, we can't go forward and uh, put out the PC version. Now as far as the PC Engine goes, uh, that version is pretty much done. At this point, um, the title has already been implemented, new title. Uh, some things did have to be changed around in-game, and those are pretty much... Uh, those are pretty much wrapped up at this point. We're going to get the game pushed out. Um, we're likely going to be sending this game out in the middle of the month. So we will be setting this game out mid-January to go get uh, replicated, uh, manufactured. And uh, we will be launching pretty much as soon as we get these games back. So it really just depends on the manufacturing time as far as when the games will be released. So I'm being told that uh, it's likely going to take anywhere between three and four weeks to get the games manufactured. So with that being said, if it's going to take three to four weeks, it's safe to say that we will likely be getting Henshin Engine by February 15th or sooner. I'm hoping that we get it sooner, uh, but like I said, that all depends on the manufacturing, how long the manufacturing is going to take to get those games made. Uh, now, as far as the other versions go, we're likely looking at a release date of May, um, or by the end of May, as I'm being told by the production company, taking charge of those two versions that they, they will need at least two to three months to get done. So, um, fairly reasonable amount of time, I think. But I do apologize for all of those who have been waiting for this game, and it's really hard. We've ran into so many different hurdles with this game. Um, a bunch of different things just have come up and a lot of it's unexpected, but we're dealing with it. And uh, for being the first time that uh, I've produced a game, this is my first video game production where I've led the, I've been at the helm of the project. I've learned a lot from this project and I've learned what not to do for the next project. So the next project that we do put out should be a much more seamless uh, process than FX Unit Yuki has been. But FX Unit Yuki, for what it is, it's it's pretty good. We took something and uh, created it uh, from, we went from something very simple to something a lot more ambitious. And although we are guilty of what's known as feature creep, uh, as we added a bunch of different features to the game, and that in itself kind of pushed production a lot longer than we had originally told everyone it was going to take. But the end result to that is that the game is a much better game. And the silver lining to all that is that if we had not uh, fallen to feature creep and added all these different things to the game, and we had gone to production, we probably would have been in a lot of trouble <laughs> with this game had we already marketed it and pushed it out. Because one of the caveats to 
releasing a game that you don't own the rights to is that you have to destroy everything that has that naming convention. So we wouldn't have been able to sell it and we could have been in trouble for selling any any products with the old logo. Now as far as the devils and stuff that we gave away with the old logo, that's fine. We didn't charge any money for those and those were completely free. So anyone who got those, consider yourselves lucky because you have something that's no longer being called by that name. So, um, but we don't, we no longer have anything with the old Henshin Engine title. Everything has been rebranded to FX Unit Yuki. The unfortunate thing is that we did have to destroy a lot of um, paper materials that we made that was going along with the treasure boxes. We did some wrappings and things for the treasure boxes that we can no longer use because those have the um, Henshin Engine logo on it and not the new FX Unit Yuki logo on them. <clears throat> but that's not a huge problem. The only issue is that it's 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 cost us money that we really don't have. But fortunately, people have been pre-ordering the game, so we do have um, that pre-order money to fall back on to pay for the stuff that we um, that we had to replace. Uh, the cards we printed a bunch of cards with the old logo, and uh, uh, we did the wrappings and such. So not not the end of the world. We'll still be able to manage. It just means that we don't we don't make much of a profit margin. But no, who, nobody really makes a lot of money on their first game, is what I'm being told. So I I don't feel too bad as long as we have the money to cover this project to keep going. We are good. And at this point, we are good. The game has been rebranded, re and <clears throat> it's pretty much done at this point. Um, the programmer does have a few things that he's. Uh, needing to change or wants to change so right now everything is in his hands as far as how soon we get the game out to manufacturing um, he thinks that he should be able to get it all wrapped up in a week so that we can send it that's why I was stating that we were going to be sending it mid-January and then from mid-January we're looking at about three to four weeks for manufacturing time so um, we're looking at mid-February or sooner as long as our programmer can get it in my hands before mid-January so that we can get it to manufacturing. Um, but he's ran into some issues of his own. He's got a lot of health problems right now and it's it's been an ordeal. Now, as far as the website goes, a lot of people have been sending me messages and they're like, oh no, the website's gone down. What's going on? This is a scam. Well, it's not a scam. Um, like I said, I didn't want to make this update until I knew what was happening, until we knew that the new name has been, uh, the application for the new name has been accepted by the USPTO office. So everything there is a go. The project is back on track and it should be out very soon. The new website is now located at www.fxunityuki.com. So make sure to update your bookmarks and check it out. We also have a uh, updated demo version of that uh, for sale in physical form, but we will have an actual downloadable demo of that new demo, uh, which is a good playable version of the current game with its current mechanics, nothing like the old demo at all. Uh, we'll have that up on the website hopefully soon. Uh, but for now, for those who want to actually purchase the demo, they can. They can do it on the website, but it's not necessary. The demo was actually really just put there uh, to solidify our trademark that we are selling product with our trademark. And uh, the demo is a good way to do that because we actually have a physical demo with the trademark in use. Um, and so that's pretty much what that was made for. <clears throat> but um, that's pretty much for this update video. I just want to let everybody know where we are at with everything. Um, I'll be starting up my Discord channel. I have more information on that on my Patreon. Um, and uh, people can come and ask me questions there personally. Uh, this video is on YouTube. You can also put comments uh, in the video. And I will uh, do my best to answer them in a timely manner. Right now I'm answering a lot of emails of people who are concerned with the project. Don't worry, the project is coming. It's coming very soon. It's a little later than we would have wanted to, but we ran into some trouble. But we are, uh, we have a workaround for the troubles that we've run into, so um, we're gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be good. The game is gonna come out soon, uh, later than normal, but a lot of other Kickstarter projects have come along much later um, or haven't come at all, so. We are almost there, so thank you so much guys for sticking with us and for believing in us, and uh, we will see you soon.